Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. So Allah Khan here, and today with another simple uh, video, in which we discuss the unit rectangular function. Okay. Now this is also called as a rectangular pulse. This is also called as a rectangular pulse, and this is also called as a gate function. Gate function. Now in this video, what do we have? We have a particular limit of time. Within that range, uh, we have the values. So let me write it for you guys. The the, the representation is rect rect of t. So this is equal to zero in a particular limit, and it's equal to one over a in a particular limit. Now I tell you. So first I will draw the diagram because the limits are a little confusing to write. Okay. So this is the, the, the graphical representation for this. This is T, this is rect of T. So what do you have? This is negative A by 2, this is positive A by 2. Within these limits, within these limits, you have what? You have the value of the function as 1 over A. So 1 over A is the value of the function if the time is greater than negative a by 2 and it's less than positive a by 2 fine and similarly it's 0 otherwise so it's 0 when the time is less than negative a by 2 and when it's greater than positive a by 2 so I believe I've written it right and it should be right and it is right you should have an equal sign over here also. Negative a by 2. Fine. So this is a unit rectangular function. Now why is this called a unit rectangular function? Because uh, the, the area is always unit. You have a unit area. Now this is a triangular function. So you can write the area to be what? To be the base multiply width or whatever it is. So the height is 1 over a and you multiply it with with the base so this is the a by 2 is this one a by 2 is this one so you have a by 2 plus a by 2 a by 2 plus a by 2 so this means this is 1 over a multiplied a so the area comes out to be 1 is that fine now again we check for the even and odd signal and we check for uh, power and energy signal so let's say first I check if this signal is even or is this odd. So what do you do is you first take a negative t, x of negative t, which means you you flip the signal around the x about the y axis. So if I say that we have a signal rect of minus t, so again this would be equal to the same signal. This is positive a by 2, this is negative a by 2, the height is 1 over a. So have a look. Rect of t is equal to rectangular of minus t, so which means that this is an even signal. Is that fine? Now in the next step, we check if this signal is power signal or is it energy so uh, you you I told you in the in the properties video that if the signal is a finite duration signal as this one is a finite duration signal so this means that this is an energy signal this is an energy signal or you can also do it mathematically if you calculate the energy that is from negative infinity to positive infinity the modulus of rect of t whole squared and you integrate it with respect to t so which means you don't need to do it in these limits you can only check from negative a by 2 to positive a by 2 and the value is 1 over a the modulus would be 1 over a the squared would be 1 over a squared and this is with respect to t 
So this is constant, this would come outside of the limit, you have a 1 over a squared, you have a t is the integration of 1 and the limits are a by 2, the limits are negative a by 2. So you have a 1 over a squared, so then in a by 2 plus a by 2 is an a, so this would be a squared would cancel out with a, this means that the energy is 1 over a, the energy is finite. If the energy is finite, this means the power will be zero. You can calculate it. If the energy is finite, the signal is, a, is, a, is an energy signal. And that's all about it, okay? That's all about the rectangular function. So I'm sorry if I'm teasing you with these shorter videos, but these are something important. If you combine them into one video, so that is a longer video. So these shorter are good. So see in the next lecture with the unit, triangular function. Till then, take care. Goodbye.